Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Stories from the Unbound Shores. Last week, had a uh, bit of a uh, one-shot uh, to uh, have some fun, among other things, but now we are uh, back into it. So, in the last session, uh, they had, the party had made it to the uh, Noish Village, and uh, been promised that they would receive uh, a casting of Windwalk, and have done some uh, errands, I guess is the yeah, probably not quite the right word, but it works. With talking with some of the other villagers, and uh, getting some uh, requests here and there. Um, Tristan, did you end up picking, uh, the gym that you wanted? No. No, I forgot to think about it. Uh, but I will give you that answer very quickly. Uh, continue on. I'll make that decision right now. Okay. Uh. So, I don't believe you have gotten casting of Windwalk yet, but uh, as you have a couple days until uh, Atlas will return, and it's a half hour by Windwalk, you know it's no immediate rush. Uh, so is there anything else that you guys want to try and do here, or in the general area before pressing onward, or... Um, um, I think Roland was just like, we should get there and make our preparations once we're there. Uh, he wasn't expecting to have resources beyond the, uh, wind walk. Um... My concern with resting once we get there is um, if we happen to run into things there, I am SOL. Like when we get there. Well, I guess we'll be coming in with wind off. We can avoid things. What is our status post that uh, one shot? Because it's not like I wrote down what I was before the one, one shot you said to start it. Oh. Fresh. That is true. Um. Then I think for convenience sake, uh, just leave it with what you have now. Okay. Which should still have some resources spent, but overall likely better off than you were previously. I'm yeah, not, I'm but not that's actually, okay. <laughs> I'm not that bad. I actually think I might have more, because I think I had... I was down, like, counterspells, I want to say, after last session session. Not for the one shot. I have most of my... I'm definitely shows. worse off, but I'll survive. I don't mind. I'm about at the same where I was. Yeah. I mean, like I said, with <laughs> Windwalk, theoretically, we should be able to avoid anything that might cause us to need such things before we get there. Ooh, other than the nightmare. I think the nightmare's gonna be the big issue. But I mean, you remember, we have three days. This is true. So, like, that's why that's why Roland is so brazen about all this. It's like, we don't have to worry about the guy for three days, so, like, we get there, we rest, we're good. Even if there yeah. is something there, I think that it's not going to be him. Even if it is the Nightmare, it's not going to be a big deal at our level. Um, and I've no. still got four spell slots, so... Yeah. I've got all my first levels and one second level. Everything else is spent. <laughs> I have no first levels, but I have a decent amount of everything else. Yeah, no. This is why I'm... 
You're way better off than I am. Because I have yes, I fifth am. level spent, all fourth level spent, all third level spent. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't I didn't really have to go hard on that on that last one. Mine was all healing after the fight. Mm. Well, at any rate, we can get our asses there. And the fifth level was the flame strike. But everybody who's at full health now, you know, you're welcome. I don't know if I took damage. <laughs> yeah, everybody did. Yeah, I took some. <laughs> Actually, no, I think I took damage, but I was one of the people that she healed. Calisti. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Because I was, I think I was at full health at the end of the fight. Regardless. Shall we then? So, what I'm hearing the consensus is, is that you're looking to wind walk yourselves straight there. That seems to be accurate. Alright. Before well, we leave, I am just going to buy another water skin because the other one has that thing in it. Right. Yeah, that'd probably be important. Or my choice is the sapphire and the topaz, or the topaz and the pearl. Uh, let me... I don't remember what those I had two options. Offhand. I could choose one. Cold, Lightning, Radiant, Necrotic are the only things I don't have. I thought it was either Cold and Lightning or Lightning and Radiant that I was being offered. I think it was Cold and Lightning because it was uh, supposed to be gems that... Uh, no, Psychic was one of them. I think it was... Yeah, of course. You were getting lightning because you had the gem of that yourself, that you brought in. Rose. And then your choice, I think, was cold or psychic. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's go with the rose quartz. You never know when psychic damage might be quite fucking useful. Alright. And so you want to buy a water skin? Uh, yep. Orion? Let's see. Uh, well, if you're looking to just purchase it, take whatever the price is in the player's handbook and double it. Yep. Because while I have a fair bit of magic resources, not so much out here. I think we've got a goodly supply of cash after the, uh... Of the here's, uh, lair. Yep. Alright. So, what is. And so, then I believe you guys will begin uh, wind walking your way there. Heck yeah, we will. So, I need to move us maps. Let's see here. This is so exciting. I am now on the right board. Now to get you on the right board.
Oh, we probably should have spent some time teaching rolling our hand signals. Yeah, well. Um, you guys get here, and at least from the outside, uh, the place looks just how you left it. Uh, So, now what do you want to do that you're here? And I should have some music going. Um, I mean, I want to scout inside the place before I revert to normal. Um, should that no longer be on fire? I feel like that should no longer be on fire. Uh, yeah, one second. I'm also wondering why we didn't extinguish it before we left. How did we forget about a whole fucking fire in the cafeteria? Ness Hall, whatever. Let a game board. But yeah, the fire uh, will be out. Just gotta put it out. And that's a fair bit of it. Well, hey, I do have Tails better walking. Oh. All right, fire is out. So I'm finding a spot to fly in and scouting out the placement. All right. You know there's a way in that will put you out uh, near the pool in the kind of cave area at the back. Uh, and there's these uh, towers up front that don't have any doorways from the, the top of the stairs down. So assuming the interior doors weren't closed, you would move in through there. Yeah, it's going to have to be the way, because I think we closed the uh, gate again before we left by the stables. I mean, it's it's open here, but I think it was closed when we went through. No, wait, because that was the way Atlas came to us, wasn't it? We came in through the back way, all the way back there initially, but my character's never been here before, so he's sort of just looking up at the door. I imagine that we've reverted to normal form so that we can talk? No, or... I, wanted, I wanted to um, go in in mist form first and just take a look around, basically pull an Eskel. <laughs> Since it should be empty or mostly empty. I'm going to avoid the stable for now, though. Alright, well, without knowing the hand signs and being brought to this front entrance, he's going to set down and return to normal form. Expecting to talk to people. Well, honestly, by the time you're reverting back, or have reverted, I'm probably going to be back. Could be. Hopefully. So anyways... So I guess I am... He can't do anything once he's starting going. the transformation, so he's just yeah, watching you go bewildered. <laughs> what the fuck?
All right, so just going quickly through the whole place, or yeah, pretty much. I'm uh, I'm not gonna go in the stables for now though, since if the nightmare is still about, it's probably in there. Um, what's what's Thomas doing? I don't know. Cause I don't know. Was this gestured? That this was happening, like... I mean... Do, did we actually have a gesture for... I'm gonna go take a look? Hang on, let me pull out some things that we had. Or was find a hole and go inside. I didn't... <laughs> uh... Numbers... Goal, stop, quiet, left, right, forward, backwards, up, down, over, under, inside, outside, trap, enemy, friendly, hide, door, wall, locked, open, closed, isn't hide, feet, climb, hidden, pull, push, lift, car, drop, iron, hide, extinguish, follow, lead. Okay, I guess... I'll... Hmm... <laughs> So we come in, we won't start shifting back, I see this, like, kind of... We decided that our, our cloud forms are kind of vaguely us-shaped, right? Enough that the hand signs work, yeah. Yeah, yep. okay. So, I'm just gonna kind of shake my head a little bit, point to myself, and I guess make this signal. We said we have go and inside, right? Yeah. Do we have... Like back to, and maybe I can kind of uh, indicate I'm going backwards. inside and come back. Yeah, there's, there's backwards. Okay, so I will do point to myself, go inside, and then back and just kind of point to the ground to hopefully indicate here. that all makes sense. And as long as there seems to be some amount of understanding indicated, I will commence that. Uh, let's see. It's Rolling's incapacitated while he's in. Yeah, I believe so. Up. I'll point to myself and Roland and we have here there should be a weight I think weight was one of the things you said right no oh. well I had just kind of pointed to the oh. ground for here so if that makes sense. I'll point to us and just say, stop here. Uh, I'll stop and point to the ground, and then I'm going to start turning back into solid form. Okay, I will thumbs up and get going, I guess, and pray that nothing comes for you guys while I'm in there. <laughs> and that nothing traps me in there. We should come up with one for Wait. Yeah, probably. Wait, I thought, I thought Wait was one of them. Uh, there is stop, he's right. Oh, okay. Alright, well, at any rate. Yeah, just doing a real quick once over through there, essentially. Seeing if the skeletons have come back, seeing if there's any important. Changes if anything's changed, that doesn't make sense, but whatever. Well, you're able to go through, and everything appears to be just as you left it. Perfect. Then I come back out, rejoin them, and start shifting back. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take a quick scan of the immediate area too and make sure there's nothing like ready to jump us when we change back. Actually, it's not going to matter anyway. I'm just going to start checking back. Uh, 
All right. So is it one minute or ten minutes? Anyone know offhand? Not that we want. To do detect magic. Uh, to transform. That should be one minute. It's ten rounds. Uh, reverting takes one minute, yes, during which time incapacity can't move. Alright. Then, a minute later, uh, everyone is back to their humanoid selves out front. So once I am back, I'm going to say um, everything looks just as it was when we were last here. Uh, I didn't check the stable to see if the nightmare is still in there, but I will um, make sure I have sea invisibility on as or have the ability to cast sea to see into the ethereal in case it's around. But beyond that... I kind of pause, and like, there's this look of kind of... Realization, I guess, on her face. Now how are we going to get in? And I look at the closed front door. <laughs> As you appear and regain your form, as I would say, that was my question to you. How did you? You said you had been here before. The store is closed, so who closed it? We didn't go in through the front door. That might have been useful information. Who knows that now? So then. Where did you go in? Somewhere that's not likely to be easily accessible to us in our immediate form. Um, I will... I will go in and see that I can open the door for us here. Should we not just use whatever this uh, other entrance is then? If we have access to a form that can get there? suppose we could. Seems like a waste of time, but I suppose a minute is not ultimately that long. Well, I think of it this way. Once we are inside, we will want to spend the next three days camping here to make sure we are prepared for when Atlas makes his reappearance. In that time, we would not like to be bothered by any other natives of this area, and this fortress is um, fortified. If we open up this front door, so that we can access it, so can other creatures. So, if we go in this uh, secret entrance, then we can maintain the security at the front of this facility. I'm just... gonna just push on this door, whatever, to see if it is actually locked. Looks like there's a portcullis in front of it. Is it? There... Uh, yes, there is, and it is locked. Like, they, you can't, like, race the pork close. Okay. Um, Pelisari just kind of raises an eyebrow and says the intention would be to close the door behind us afterwards, but yes, it, it's easy enough to get in through our side entrance. I'm just going to, you know, move up next to uh, Aurelion and reach out to feel the, the bars, the portcullis. This is um, old as buildings go, and no one has kept it up. I think that if we open and close many doors, they will just cease to be able to be closed. Might as well be looking this way. That's an idea. Anyway, that is my Besides, if there is already a way in, that you know the 
A2. Perhaps it would be safest to go that way anyway. Uh, she looks a little irritated, but just kind of nods and says, Yes, we'll go in that way. Um, actually, first, we should probably teach you the signals that we have created for our time in our gaseous state. Eric. Yep. Do your drow have an undercommon sign language like mine did, or no? Uh, they did not. Okay. There is a signal language you have. Well, just very basic. Seems useful. Yes, please teach me. It was just what we put together when we came the first time and had the same realization we're having now that we were not able to communicate with each other in our gaseous state. He nods understanding. But yeah, we spent some time doing that. And then on into the fortress. Alright. And so, do you open the door or go in through uh, the puddle zone? Puddle zone. Puddle zone. Alright. I think Relion's token there. just going to indicate himself and then use the follow uh, sign that you taught him and then indicate you. Um, and then he waits. Um, um. Did I know I should have noted when I came through that the uh, portcullis by this at the end of this passageway is open. Yep. Okay. Cool. Um. It's not actually a portcullis. That was just the. Oh yeah. Best the thing I could do for a yeah, yeah. hidden wall yeah, door yeah, yeah. thing. Um. I'm just gonna indicate that we should uh, just do our um, normal forms. Okay. If that is the case, then you will begin transforming back. Sounds like a plan. And so a minute goes by and we regain our normal forms. Yep. Things going smoothly so far. <laughs> so far, too smoothly. Uh, I imagine it's dark in here. Um, yes, you all would be relying uh, solely on your dark vision. He's going to be looking around. Say, this part of the cave seems natural, but. I imagine that it must have been considered a secret entrance. I imagine so. I don't know if it was here before Atlas took over, or if he created the entrances to it, but uh, it seems to be secret. Which way should we go? Well, I'd like to check this way again, start kind of walking this way, as 
previously, and we entered through um, a hidden doorway back that way. I gesture behind me as we go through. But Atlas came through this way behind us. I'm wondering if there was something we missed over here that might get us in a little quicker. I guess investigate. Uh, depends on what it is you're wanting to do exactly. You're looking to kind of just feel and poke around at everything, or just kind of give the place a, a you know, just kind of look at everything. Like, what, what is it exactly you're trying to, to do here? Hmm, try and figure out if there's a section of this that seems like it could have a hidden doorway along, I guess. Um, like this whole little section of And of we can wherever. see that the natural cave ends in a man-made wall, right? Yes. Okay. The facility runs quite deep into the mountain here. There is a way through, which it only makes sense that there should be. Maybe there is some sort of mechanism. I will check the walls. Uh, and one thing you won't need a perception check for is a uh, lever on the left-hand side. Since now levers actually exist, <laughs> throw one in there. We're, um, perceptioning, you said? Uh, so yes, that it just perception. stands out, apparently. Wait, what? There, there is a lever, but you can also roll perception for the other things that were requested. Oh, so we do just see the lever? There, there is just a lever on the the left side. Yes. I don't remember seeing that the first time. I do, but it wasn't me. <laughs> it was other me. No. Did S will not say anything to us about it? Oh no, he definitely did. Pretty sure you saw it. I I know it got pulled too. I I know it got pulled. I know who pulled it. I just don't remember if Melisari was there. Alright. Well, I got a nineteen perception. Are you gonna look around with us there, Thomas? No, oh, excuse me, I'm just sneezing. Oh, well, try not to do that. Well, I see nothing. I don't even see the lever. But the lever just appeared <laughs> and then disappeared. <laughs> oh, it's back. I was trying to get more attached to the wall. Yeah, I rolled a nat one for a grand total of seven. Nice. Yeah. I only did marginally better with an eight. Since you... Okay, Melika, sorry, since you have a perfect recall, but I don't and don't remember if you actually um, saw it or present for this or not, do me a favor and roll a uh, history check. Okay. Uh, well, that's significantly better. Uh, 26, I believe. Yes, 26. Okay. Then you recall that that particular lever was a trap. Ah. I see. Okay. Perhaps this is how we open the door. He says. Nope, oh, please don't. Mm. What, what kind of trap was it? I don't remember. Poison dart. Yep. Ah. I figure I can just yeah. tell her since she got a twenty-six on history. Yeah, I have no recollection of that at all. So his hand stops yeah, no. halfway to the lever. Uh, <laughs> what is yeah, the Dirk pulled it, and then you guys opted to go the other direction. Yeah, I have no memory of that. Why do I have no memory of that? So, what is a 19 on perception in this area, tell me? Alright. A 19 tells you... A second cooler There's... lever exists? <laughs> There's... That's a better uh, trap? Well, uh, they're half right. <laughs> uh, there is a second, uh, not lever, but uh, button type thing. Yeah. Uh, Fuck is a button. 
section of the wall that can be pushed, uh, and it will, well, do something. It. It'll do something, yeah. Okay. Where do I indicate that? Show me with a light. Uh, like, right here, right at the, like, corner. Okay, alright. But still on the... He's gonna be just, like, running his gauntleted hand over the wall and says, uh, here, I have something. Perhaps it can be pushed. Did you ever try this? I don't believe we saw that last time, no. Do you think it is also a trap? Well, if you don't see anything else... It is much I... better hidden than the switch. Yes, that, that my suspicion would be that this opens whatever pathway Atlas used to get to us, as he would have had needed some way to close it behind him after he came through. Well, if you are, would like to stand back so that if something happens, you are not both struck, I will try pushing it. And once, uh, once he is the only one next to it, he's gonna push it. Alright. Uh, you push it? Yep. Uh, and the wall starts to move with loud uh, groin sounds, which if any of you are, are the uh, even slightly skittish type, uh, it will cause you to jump. I, uh, my mechanical shield snaps itself onto my arm as I duck behind it. Alright, so I will replace that with the another portcullis thing. Door, 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 door. Door! Door, 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 door. Um, what did we tell you about what we found in here? Uh, there was a the ghost of um, Atlas from a lover. We would uh, try to free from her entrapment on this plane uh, in hopes uh, that they can leave to the afterlife together. Uh, you found many skeletons of the former inhabitants, and that you believe that uh, their presence indicates the uh, oath that Atlas betrayed, which landed him in this situation. Aside from that, armories and statues and the like, those were the important things for me. She nods thoughtfully and then asks, and did we tell you about how we can reverse with Elkhorn? I remember that you had been going to, and uh, someone was very uncomfortable discussing it. So no, I do not know. Um, she takes a deep breath. We needed to have a member of our party temporarily possessed by her. I see. A volunteer willingly allowed themselves to be possessed by the spirit so it could communicate with the living. Yes. Um, I use Detect Thoughts to be able to still communicate with, or at least have a one-sided communication with, um, our companion who did so. So if we would like to do that again, and she kind of trails off. Was this uh, spirit dangerous or hostile? No. She was... It took a little convincing to have her believe what we told her about Alice and about her predicament. But once she believed us, I know that she wants to help in our task. And you feel certain that she's still here? Well, we can go find out. Nods and saying, that is what I would like to do, yes. Yeah, and she's uh, gonna walk around her and walk around you, rather. And... 
<laughs> he, Lead the way. He starts jogging after you because he had been moving cautiously, carefully, in case there might be more traps. <laughs> you just start booking it. Well, I don't know that I'd say booking it. I'm, I'm walking. I'm just walking normally as opposed to uh, yeah. booking it. Comparatively. So that is book. one difference from the last time you guys were here. Is that uh, all the lights here would have uh, more or less gone out in your time away. Well, uh, because of the skeletons not lighting them anymore. Right. Well, I don't um, feel like trying to replace all of those with the non-lit variants. So. Oh, there she is. She is still there. So, in here, is it dark then? No, no candles or anything? Correct. No candles, no lights of any kind. Um, does... Do the, do the spirits, like, give off a glow of any sort? Uh, not mechanically, no, but since this one's not trying to kill you, I'm going to go with yes. Okay. Um, I mean, I can also use... Um, I do have light as a, uh, cantrip. Excuse me. And actually, maybe seeing how uh, dark everything is, I think I will just um, touch that to like the end of my staff um, and right. get light going. So we've got bright light in a 20 foot radius and dim light, an additional 20 feet out for the next hour. Yeah, as we enter this room, I actually have the dancing lights cantrip so I can set the dancing lights at 20 feet apart in the room. Well, she's still here. Is she just kind of going about her the same routine that we saw her with last time? Uh, you didn't see enough of it to know if it's the same routine, but she is just kind of going about. Going about what she believes to be her daily life. Well, day life, yeah. Yeah, well. And so those will shed dim light and hopefully help supplement uh, into the corners uh, from Melisari's light. Melisari's just nodding thoughtfully. We should perhaps converse with her prior to... Atlas's return for the sake of formulating our plan with her. I don't know if it would be useful perhaps to have her already in possession when he appears. Um, Although I think it'd be best for him to see her and see it happen and then he'll trust it more. Um... Were we given the bag of holding? Um, no, because what she dropped off were the materials they needed to make it, so it does not currently exist. Oh. Thought we'd done that. <laughs> How long would it take to make? Uh. No one particularly asked, and uh, Nyx was not in a detail oriented mood. <laughs> do I have the urn? You do. Can I check its contents? You may. Does my character have an estimate for how much time before Bucker reappears? Day and a half, two days. Okay. He's going to set the urn down on the table over here. And, uh, turn to the others and say, it, it seems that we have at least a day, perhaps two, uh, before Atlas makes his reappearance. So, given that our daily resources are low now, but we 
seem to be safe. Then perhaps we have this conversation with uh, Eleanor and uh, make sure that everyone is still on the same page. On the same page in what way? Well, circumstances now are different from when you last spoke with Eleanor. You have you are and different people at your side. And we want mm. to make sure that um, her mood is uh, not something that is changed so easily. Um, he said that it took time to earn her trust last time. Uh, but I imagine we're watching this ghost go about its daily thing, you know, going, taking books and sitting at the table and sitting on the bed and things like that in front of us, completely oblivious to our presence, just like last time. Yep. Yeah. It would be most unfortunate if she does not remember this conversation. The one yeah, that thought had. just occurred to me as well. So, just to be safe. Um, I do possess the magics for dealing with the undead, but... Uh, as we should not be treating her as a hostile anyway, I can volunteer my... body for this. And it would likely be for the best, as Aurelian and I would both be familiar faces, assuming she remembers last time. Which might be quite the assumption. Um, can I roll Arcana or something to have any sort of idea if... Or maybe history, see if anyone's attempted even to converse with a ghost twice like this? Uh, you can roll religion, as that's generally what um, you yeah. uh, deal with undead. Yep, yep, that makes sense. Well, uh, religion says... 20. Alright. Well, as you learned about some of this from a book, uh, you know, it's possible that she'll remember... But also possible she won't. The cases of this were uncommon, to say the least. So there's not much information on them. Yeah. Um. What? I don't. I don't remember what we did last time, what we said last time, to convince her of what was going on. And I don't even know the whole story. Oh, God, this is awful! If only you had Eskel. I know! Sweet lord. Our baby boy. Our baby boy. Our poor sweet, sweet summer child. Um, anyway. He's gone off to war. He's definitely not a, a summer child, but that's just... Oh, he's absolutely a summer child. What are you talking about? Is he, though? He's had such a rough life so far. He still manages to be naive about certain things. Yeah, well. But yes, um, he has had a rough life, it's true. Melisari's continuing to think and, and puts out the thought that then again... Perhaps if we need to do convincing again, it might actually be useful to have someone available to speak with her who knew Atlas in life. Who might be able to convince her that at least, you know, we knew him. It could be useful. But that would mean that Aurelion would have to be the one who gives up his free will. Uh, 
already on. <laughs> we both I'm turn to him. Checking. Um. E I I. I suppose. I suppose it makes sense. I. I will only ask him if you are willing. And I see we must do this. No, I am saying it makes sense. It makes sense not for it to be you, and not for it to be you, and I point to, um, I'm sorry. So, yeah. So you said that the last time you did this, your ally, who was controlled by her, did not attack, but I am very slightly concerned that if this time it's different, Aurelion is quite the weapon against us. Um, what do I know about... But it is fine, because I believe oh. that I could use protection from evil and good to extract her. That, I think that does make sense with what we knew from last time. I reach uh, round onto my backpack and I pull out a rope. An eyebrow goes up. I don't think that would be necessary and mm. may end up working against us. If you are tied up ahead of time, yes. Read. See Your bad look. Just um, perhaps However. hand us your sword. <laughs> yeah. Exactly what I, I do so. Okay. Alright. I think that if you are willing and this is agreeable to one, this is probably the best arrangement. And you never met her correctly in life? Uh, uh, I'll double check with the DM. I knew Atlas. I knew of this woman. Did I ever meet her? Uh, you at least knew of... Uh, I'll let you pick either one, because I don't think I had that concrete. Given the yeah, amount yeah. of help and the supposed, the supposed good relationship that Atlas and I had, I think that uh, he would have introduced me. If I right. knew enough about him that I understood what his oath was, and about whom it was protecting, then I feel like... I would have met her. Yep, that's reasonable. How did you know him that well? Atlas... Atlas helped me in my... staying out of the hands of the Lord Sworn. He also helped me to... Uh, free one of my kin you met back there. Not that only, but the others he helped free, I think. We've lost them since we escaped. Free from Loth, or some other circumstance? Loth is a general rule, but when you are part of Halo's sworn to our community. Defiance of those is not tolerated. I think that you are aware of um, a particular brand of tyranny. And so... Binding others and getting them out of the Underdark was challenge. That is why he kind of like waves his hands like he's uh, gathering the words to explain when we uh, faced the drow this morning I did not try to take any of them or kill any of them. They need to make the decision to leave on their own but they need to know that we are allies because they will need my help. 
someone had gone the surface to escape, very likely. That is the relationship that they had with Atlas, at least for a time. Malazar is nodding thoughtfully. There's certainly more I'd like to ask about that at some point, but it's not currently relevant, I don't think. Kind of looks around at the room, says it seems that we have time. If this is going to affect the trust that this group has, then I would like to dispel it. It's more logistical questions. How one even... Well... Sneakily, <laughs> one must enter the... Some of the societies of Drow uh, inhabit cities in the Underdark, while others are more nomadic and moving about wherever the taking on the surface is good. This is the kind of group that I was part of many centuries ago at this point. We were always on the move. So I was able to use that, uh, the fact that they needed to back up and move to a new location to get myself separated from them and to try to make my way to the surface. And it is as I was nearing a cave, nearing a branch that broke through to the forests here, uh, that uh, their scouts caught up with me and they would have bound me and dragged me back and then used me as father on their next invasion uh, if Atlas had not interceded and together we were able to subdue the scouts and escape Was that the first time you met him? Yes I did not expect to find anyone on my route to the surface, much less uh, a surface dweller willing to help me. I'm taking some liberties here, Derek. You better stop me if I say something wrong. <laughs> uh, different than what I had in mind, but close enough that I didn't want to, to stop good roleplay. So, uh, carry on. I didn't see him for some time after that. Gave me some provisions and... Um, helped me find a source of water. Said our goodbyes. I was scouting... new locations for my own camp on the surface. Needing to avoid the sun. Uh, meant that I had to put myself in danger of being discovered by other drow. But they also wanted to find drow to help. Knowing that I cannot be the only one who thinks that... This life that Loth proscribes for us is... The only one available. It was during one of my own forays uh, in this manner that I came upon them Atlas for the second time and uh, at the time he was fighting and so I saw it as an opportunity to repay him somewhat and it was something I don't remember his relationship with these people but they were threatening threatening some others who he wished to protect and so from the trees I helped deliver some arrows to his opponents as he did with us which is kind of smiling he sighs and the corner of his mouth curls a little yes, yes. I find it uh, if I march out onto the battlefield, most surface dwellers are made nervous. But if I help 
while unseen first they are interested to find out who they have to thank and are less likely to attack. That certainly makes quite a lot of sense. So, after the bandits were routed, I waited in the trees for Atlas to seek me out. And he did thank me. And now that we had exchanged this gift of aid, uh, in his eyes we were bound, in his words, as brothers, which is still strange to me. We did not live or travel together, but he would make... He would make a point of uh, seeking me out a few times a year. And any time that we could help one another, as we were inhabiting a similar location, or a civilization, uh, we made sure to do so. And uh, leave a sign that we had each other to thank. It was some time later that he introduced me to Eleanor, a woman he had brought here to escape. Escape? Punishment. Uh, some sort of wrongful accusation. He was separated from his family uh, to the east. It is why he was here. Exactly. Right, right. And I just want to clarify, here just means Elysium, right? Because he didn't live in the Forgotten Fortress. Right. Here right? just means Elysium. Yeah. Okay. Shit, I forgot what I was going to say. He seems very much in love. He kind of watches Eleanor's spirit wandering. Looks the same. It couldn't have been more than a couple of years later that this all happened. They. They stopped seeing him. And our meetings had been infrequent to begin with, so I did not think too much of it. But. Said we always considered each other companions, friends, comrades in arms. And so I knew when the time was right we would see each other again. I spent the years searching out more how to free from those. And they came in trickles and drips. And they went the same. And I lost all sense of time, really, living that way. So I did not realize it had been so long since I had witnessed Atlas. And Ill, I realized, as a human, I must be dead by now. And we had not met again. And for that I was sad. But such is the life of mortals. I had hoped that he and his wife had found peace and had a good life. <sighs> that is why I agreed to come with you. It has no, been... sorry. Kinda looks like increasingly uncomfortable as you continue, but lets you continue. Sorry. not saddening. And so, perhaps we can... 
Perhaps we can give them the afterlife I think they deserved. I certainly hope so. She's kind of gonna heave a deep sigh. So we didn't tell him about what we learned at Mount Mistal, did we? I think so. You think so, or you don't think so? No, I said I don't think so. Yeah. Um, so, right, deep sigh, and then... I think perhaps it would be important for you to know... why this happened. He's, um, kind of, like, just... tightening his gauntlets at the moment, just sort of, like, focusing on the palms of his hands, and as you say this, he... those red eyes look up and meet yours. He says... You mean why she is a spirit? Why she's here? Why Atlas had to come for her? He closes those piercing eyes for a moment. You hear him taking a breath. And he lets it out slowly before he makes eye contact again and says, Yes, if you know. I think it would be good to be aware. She kind of looks at Eleanor, looks back at you, and seems deep in thought for a moment. Maybe puts a hand up to her um, mouth, thinking, thinking. How best to phrase. He was asked by the architect, right? Was it, no, it wasn't the architect. It was, um... God. Hang on, I need to go back. She was the architect. Why the fuck didn't I write this? Um, anyway. He was asked by the architect, the king's grandmother. To... Um, do we have it written in the channel somewhere? Uh, just go in general. No. I think uh, in, it should be in our PM, so it should be pinned. Because I want to make sure I'm getting it accurate. It, 
and the at least a version of it is the the first thing we have pinned in our uh, credit messages. Wait, what? I said uh, at least one version of it is what we have pinned in. Uh, Uh, the RPMs. Oh no, I mean, um... The... What what was written in, um... The architect's journal. About... Uh... What you call it? about um, what she had asked Eskel to do. Not Eskel. Wow, Atlas. <laughs> Eskel's got a job. <laughs> Eskel is cat with job. It's not in the unbound pins. It's just, I sh should be able to at least keep it in the same ballpark. Okay. Um. Alright, so I guess I'll, I'll say. What did she want to know specifically? Like the location of, of these friendly drow to route them for whatever reason? Yeah, that is what I recall, I guess. Okay. Like, she, she... Even though they were you know, friendly and not wolf sworn, she wanted them gone for some reason? Well, she might not have known that or might not have believed that. That's... No, that wasn't something that came up in the journal. Okay. She had asked him to reveal... I suppose it must have been your location, a way to get in contact with you. For less than friendly reasons. Oh. And he refused. And she looks at Eleanor and says, this was his punishment. He and then she returns to looking at you, <laughs> studying you. He's watching Eleanor now with a very sad expression in his eyes. Before he, uh, on his face, before he, he looks down and it turns grim. He says, this is my fault. No. If we had not been helping each other, he at least could have claimed you have been incapable of finding me. My people. He protected my people at the cost of his own. The fault lies squarely with the person who decided that she could be used as a bargaining tool. And there is great distaste on her face. <laughs> and then she kind of exhales sharply and, and tries to clear her face and says, but they are long since gone, so here we are. I don't know if that changes anything on how you wish to proceed. He, uh, pulls a seat out at the table somewhat and sort of falls into it, the clang. I recommend the other seat. His armor. He seems like 
he's a little not there, but he, he looks up at you as you say this. Uh, you can see that, like, there's just some... There's a part of his expression he's just staring through you a little bit. This... what? If she comes to sit, you may end up in her inadvertently being possessed. I think it was Touch that did it last time. And, uh, that is her seat. Oh. Of course. So, sorry. I, she doesn't laugh. She she does say that the very awkward, very fast sorry. I'm sure this is a lot to take in. It was unpleasant for me, and I am not even directly connected to them. Yeah, re reading thoughts will do that. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't even just that. She would have been pissed even if she hadn't read his thoughts first. To find out what they did to her and why. Um. What? I think at that point he would kind of, uh, being that he can't sit in the chair, uh, he would kneel down next to the table, you know, somewhat away from the chair, away from the path that she'd been moving on. And he's going to, to close his eyes, hands on his knees, and he's going to start mumbling to himself in Undercommon. Uh, he is praying to illustrate. I don't think that uh, he's using any feature that he expects a response, but he is putting his desires out there in words that he can organize his thoughts, and if some higher power seems fit to respond to him, he is open to it. All right, what is it you're saying? He is asking Elastra why she wants the drow to come to the surface when these people will destroy even their own the mere thought of helping drow. <laughs> Uh, you will get a response, but I need to formulate this response to be very specific. So, one moment, please. Okay. Like I said, he wasn't really expecting one, but <laughs> he was feeling desperate. Um, rather than casting tongues like she's really tempted to do, Melisari just kind of avert her eyes and go back to watching Eleanor while you... Do whatever it is you're doing, because I have no idea of the character. Oh, Thomas, how are you doing? Well, not too bad. Following all this? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything we can do to make it easier to follow? I need this stuff written down. I have, I have a very difficult time following 
long things of like spoken stuff. I feel that. Thank you, Ritalin. I'm gonna cast Sea Invisibility. And just kind of poke my head outside the room. Just to make sure the nightmare's not sneaking up on us since we have no fucking clue where that thing is. I have uh, since you're a PM, Tristan. I see it. So, no nightmare in this room, I hope. No other invisible things. No nightmare. No invisible or ethereal things. Marvelous. Now I'll bring myself back in here. And thank goodness that sea invisibility is not concentration. Do I feel like this is just a piece of information that is being given to me in this moment, or do I feel like this is a conversation? Uh, you're not certain until you ask another question. Right. Uh, let me think about the question that this would lead to. I know the gist. I don't need to word it. He's still speaking in Undercommon. Um, question regarding Wall of Force. You can speak through it, right? And hear things through it, and see. I... Well, I know it's see because it's invisible, but... I believe so, yes. Okay, good. Because I just remembered why I took Wall of Force, and it was for a very specific purpose. I'm kind of excited to use it for, actually. He's gonna say more things in in Undercommon. You'll see him as he's he's mumbling this. He kind of like suddenly like becomes a bit rigid. Um, like he stops breathing for a moment, and his eyes are closed, but you can see them moving back and forth behind his eyelids. Uh, and then he starts speaking again in Undercommon, like very quickly, harshly. for Thomas. All right.
Hyppätävä. Um, what is the knowledge of the Pantheon, uh, broadly, in this world? Are there uh, some gods, like the one being indicated here, that may not be widely known or understood? Uh, most uh, of the gods are known. Uh, not most are, under, are necessarily understood. Like, uh, the, the darker gods won't, like, your, your average person won't necessarily know the exact, like, ideals of each god. And the more evil aligned deities are going to even be less likely to, to know what their, uh, more or less tenets are, but at the very least, names and general domains mm. are known for what most people believe to be all the gods, but as can be shown with Illustray, evidently that list is not all-inclusive. Okay. He's, um, going to rise to his feet uh, again opening his eyes, uh, placing a hand to his temple, um, like he's, as if he's got sort of a headache. Ooh. <clears throat> Sorry, hang on a sec. I'm just quickly refreshing my memory on, um, on I'm saying, I want to make sure that I... I'm not distracted for what you're using. Hesitates. She was the one who oversaw the creation of this fortress. She, she did already say earlier that he was that she was the king's grandmother, didn't king's she? King's grandmother, yes, yes, you had mentioned that. I just wanted to know more about her. And she... wanted to destroy me and my people. And... to kill Delanor. Atlas not giving us up. Do I understand that correctly? I don't think it was her intention for Eleanor to be killed, but it was the end result. I really wish I had what was written in the journal. I feel like I had it somewhere. Front of him. 
uh, and say, who does her job now? What job do you mean? Seems... And he's still kind of like... Um, you'll see as his hands will uh, go back to massage his ears lightly now and again. It just seems that she was an agent of someone who wanted to maintain the secrets of my people escaping love. Uh, I don't know, but his eyes widen a bit. Do you think she was an agent of possibly Vecna? He just... Or perhaps Loth? Holds your gaze lovely. My prayer now was answered. Surprise me. I heard a voice that I believe. He says, like, making a fist on his breastplate. To have been nearly stray works through me. She said that if I can reveal the secrets to the world, then it will not be worth the energy to conceal it anymore. The cost would be too great. So, it is someone who is invested in keeping secrets. And it seems to me greater than both herself. They are interested in the secret itself. But I think you cut out for a second there, sorry. He said it seems whoever it is is more interested in keeping it secret. And returning the drow to Luth. What do you think that means? I think that it means this, Vecna. But I do not know why. encouraged me to continue to spread the word of my escape from North and those of my compatriots to the rest of the world. And so I believe that... Melissa is very troubled. I come in through? I think you might be cutting out here and there. I don't- I just keep getting the message, lost connection to board, and then it comes back. Weird. But I'm not seeing any problem with the, uh, stream. <laughs> I've got no error messages from the stream. No lost frames or anything. It must just be a Discord thing. I don't know if you're cutting out for me. You feel like you've heard bit. everything I said? Hey. 
Discord sometimes cuts out a little bit for me anyway. Yeah. So, like, uh, it's one of those things where it's sometimes I have a difficult time telling if it's on my end or 